Okay, so I'm epileptic. I had my first seizure when I was 13. I was diagnosed sometime after I turned 14. And living with epilepsy, regardless of what they may show on TV, it seems like, oh, it's just uh, muscles contracting. Because all they really show is what you can see, which is the tonic-clonic seizures, which is the full body convulsion. And they don't show that the person bites their tongue because, because the, the muscle moves, the muscle of the tongue moves to one side. But just recovering from the seizures, that alone is hard. And being on medications, I'm on I'm on one anti-epileptic medication. The previous ones I've taken have either messed up my liver, or they have uh, caused an allergic reaction which I am actually allergic to a lot of medications and the one that actually I'm not allergic to that seems to be helping a little bit is Keppra. Now see I come from a family uh, mainly on my mother's side from her father um, with anger issues and my father also has had some anger issues in the past and my dog is worried about me right now because he knows I'm upset but this has to be said Capra Although it helps for some people like me who are predispositioned in their genetics to have a problems with their mood and getting easily irritated, it increases aggression for for me at least. Uh, since I started taking it, it has increased my aggression, um, and uh, I feel myself so angry for for no reason. And if there is just a tiny thing that wouldn't even matter to a normal person, it just sets me off. And. Because my brain seems to not process things like normal people do. I sometimes feel like I am a psycho because, because of the thoughts I have when I have fights with my mother and I do not have my antidepressants, which is actually what helps to control my mood. Which I have found out today. The thoughts that I have, it just... These are not normal thoughts that a person should have about their mother. A person should not feel like they want to hurt their mother. Now... Because I actively realized that I was thinking these things. I avoided it. And before I became vegan, it was much worse because I would completely black out as soon as I started having these thoughts. And I ended up punching my mother in the stomach at some point, even slapping her because my mind thought she was going to attack me. 
And I didn't realize it until after it all happened. And it is really, it's a horrible feeling to consciously realize that you're feeling this way. And I know it's because of the medication that those are some of the side effects. And, and being on this medication, it's important for me so I don't have as many seizures as I usually do. And, and I have to be on escitalopram because it, that's the antidepressant because it helps me to regulate my mood so I don't feel depressed to an extreme point or angry and aggressive to an extreme point. But it also regulates the mood so that I'm pretty much at a constant feeling of just plain feeling. It's just, it's basically like nothing. And because I ran out of medication today, I, I actually yesterday I, I took my last pill and I couldn't take it today because the prescription was not able to be filled because the doctor hadn't responded to the facts yet. This is not a feeling I would wish for anybody one of the main reasons I have a comedy channel is because I want to make people laugh. I want to make them smile. Because honestly, feeling like this, I would never wish it upon anybody else. And for me, if I make people laugh, then it feels like I'm making up for my own From my own feeling of uselessness, of all these horrible thoughts I think about myself. And I know that I, that when I have these thoughts, they're not true. For some reason, my brain is still telling me these things. And I just don't want other people to feel like this. Living with epilepsy you know, alone, having tonic clonic seizures, having s simple partial, having complex partial. <sighs> There's so many freaking types of seizures. And it's just so hard to deal with. A medication is supposed to prevent it. Prevent the seizure. But it gives you so much more shit. It gives you, it gives you depression. Anger. Weight gain. Weight loss. And I'm not the type of person I'm not eligible for surgery at all because my seizures are generalized so it pretty much happens everywhere in my brain at different points for each seizure so it's not like they can fix me and it feels like exactly that like I broke it 
and I try so hard to make other people smile, to do things for other people, just so they don't have to feel like I do, so they can feel happy. So many people either don't know what epilepsy is, or even a seizure, or even heard of a seizure, or they just think, oh yeah, people shake. I'm like, well, that's only one type of seizure. It's, it's really, it's really horrible. And yeah, okay, since I'm behaving and I've been able to be aware of these thoughts, these aggressive thoughts, and not blacking out and carrying out these thoughts without knowing it until after it's already happened, so I've been able to prevent it. But, it scares me, because uh, there are so many medications that they fuck you up in other ways when they just try to fix one thing. And it's so irritating, because people just want to get better. And I know I can't get off the medication because this is going to make it worse. I'm going to have so many violent seizures again. And it's just... <sighs> At least today I had my dog to try and calm me down when when he knew I know that he knew how I was feeling because dogs uh, they can smell the hormones that people give off well anybody really so he knows how I'm feeling and I know he's running around trying to be silly and everything so he can make me feel better and yeah, it does, it does work until my brain takes over and starts telling me, oh, but you still have these crazy thoughts. You're a crazy person. That you do not deserve to be loved because you're crazy. And clinically, I'm not crazy. I'm just extremely depressed and I know I know if I didn't have epilepsy, if I never had it, I never had to be on this medication, I would not be feeling this way right now. I'd be happy, I'd be active, I wouldn't, on some days, I wouldn't want to just stay in bed all day because I feel that much like shit. So the reason for my video is because people have to know that just because you're epileptic just because other people may see you as a happy person, I know how you feel. This is for other people who don't have epilepsy, who don't have to deal with this. Like I just said, just because we have a smile on our face, it does not mean that we're happy. Maybe we could be happy in the moment, but usually our brains they get the best of us. And when normal people have upsetting thoughts like, oh, I'm going to die alone. Well, 
because of these medications. We have very morbid thoughts. And it's important if you're alone, find someone to talk to because without my family, my sister talking me down from the horrible thoughts I was thinking and my dog cheering me up and my mother pushing to get at least a few days worth of my antidepressants. You know, I feel like I hit rock bottom today. And it really, it, it's, it's horrible. So really, if you have any horrible thoughts, you feel angry, you feel upset, you have to talk to someone. Find someone willing to listen because, because that could be a huge difference that If you don't do that, it could change your life and other people's lives forever. That's all I have to say.